my god. Hello guys and welcome to <laughs> And welcome to Pokemon Legends Arceus the Final Battle Part 2. Are you serious? You know what? I thought about editing this. I'm not going to edit now. This is round two of today. I mean, I fought him like three or four times yesterday. And he somehow still managed to beat me. To the point where it made me feel that the game was dicking me over. And I actually thought, in this second round, that... I was muted the entire time at the very start. I was going to be laser focused on this. As you've seen, by stroke of absolute luck, <laughs> with it actually working, I mean, I nearly had him beat the first, the first round today. And he somehow, because of Earth power, uh, it obscures the, the the user. Because of that, I had went two rounds with it, and I had Dioga as my last guy again. And this time, this time it went it went the correct way. Oh my God. When that happened, guys, I nearly threw the controller in the fucking air. I was... I was gonna record until I finally beat him. I finally beat him. I, I'm... I am fired up right now. <laughs> I am so, so excited. And this is also just me testing uh, as well as uh, OBS as well because I had to update it and it took away all my scenes and everything, which is fine. I was planning on redoing OBS anyway, but this is... This is my, this is the first video of me recording with the new OBS. I'll stop talking now. <laughs> oh my god. means even after after this episode I'm gonna check everything <laughs> I, I wished I had uh, Dialga with me uh, to make this like the, the the final team like actual the final but I had caught the alpha Gliscor that was already at the level that everyone else pretty much was of course I changed some moves around Thing is, 
I'm gonna go heal my guys up. They fucking deserve a rest. Typhlosion got taken out pretty bad. I'll just have to say that. I was about to sacrifice, like, I was thinking about sacrificing Dialga just to revive a couple other Pokemon, but no. When I seen that I had the chance, the absolute chance, I took it. I went for it. And that's, that's the thing. When it comes to either games or real life, sometimes... You gotta take chances, and sometimes it works out, sometimes it don't. And I'm also m messing with the settings, so I'm, I'm not trying to blow people's eardrums. I'm trying to readjust some settings. But, um, take chances, guys. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it don't. Especially when it comes to, like, let's go something that's even more of a pain in the ass dating relationships take chances take chances don't hold anything for granted just take chances try it take a risk take those chances when they when they come whether it be a job interview, or a date, or anything, or a chance to meet someone you've always wanted to meet, take that chance. Do the right thing, obviously. You know, be respectful, but take a chance. Take a risk. In D&D, &D, roll the dice. It's always about that chance. Don't be afraid to take risks. Everybody's healed up. Twenty, twenty minutes. It took twenty minutes. Seek out all Pokemon. Apparently, we have to complete the Pokedex. Which is totally fine. Because we've got quite a bit. The thing is, I have these two. They're all fully evolved, too. But the ones we're missing... Trying to show you guys the ones that we are missing. Ursa Luna, which is a pain because I've been looking for it for hours. I've been looking either to find it or to try to find the thing to evolve it. I've been looking for hours. And Magnemite and Magne Magneton, Magnezone. I need to find that. Um, I have, I don't think I have Happini, but I have Chansey and I think I have Blissey. Maybe. I'll look. So obviously for us to meet Arceus, we have to finish the book, finish the decks. We have to finish it. Frostlass. I think I have the stone for it. I just need to get uh, one of the swine ups. Uh, Braviary. I think I have a rough blit that's three a uh, few levels from where it is. I need to evolve it. I need to evolve Zora, uh, Zora to get that. I'm just showing you guys right now. Cause and Clefable. Clefable's the one that's a pain in the ass I can't find. Uh who else? Who else am I missing? I already know Happini, because Happini is the one I haven't found. I 
uh, Spirit Tomb and Garatina. I need Espeon. Actually, where is... Hold on. That's the main task we gotta do. Garatina located though. It's, it's got to be somewhere here. I'm looking. I'm, I'm. I'm. You know what? I might make another episode. Screw it. I might make another episode just to feature the last tidbit. That's probably what I'll do. The final battle, we won. It was a struggle, but we won. We're gonna return to the village because I need, I need to, I need to, ooh, I need to woosa. <laughs> uh, I need to find the rest of this, the, the tedious, the tedious thing for Spirit Tomb. Oh, that's where Garatina is. You know, screw it. We're gonna go after. We're gonna go after uh, Garatina. Screw it. Let's go get Garatina. Like right now. Uh, where's the coat? Cornet Highlands, Crimson Marylands, there it is, right here. Let's go get it, let's get Garantina. Garantina was a major pain. Turn back cave. I bet that's where that guy is. It's gotta be turn back cave. It's gotta be. Sorry, Stantler, I'm running through your yard. This is where he's got to be. 
Garatina's gotta be here. And I got I got a sunstone, which means I can evolve uh, one of the Pokemon to get little again, I believe. Maybe I don't know. I think I have a Curlia, or not a Curlia, a Ralts to evolve into a Curlia to get Gardevoir, but I already have Gardevoir. No, I need it for uh, Frostlass. I'm a dumb. All right, let's do this, buddy. You whoop my ass. It's my turn now. Hang in there, Gliscor. Hell yes. Hell yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's, let's go to the village. I'm gonna... Here's what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to have to make another episode, but what I'm going to do is, it's going to take some time, so I'm going to, you're going to see other videos until then. Um, because I, I want to, I want to complete all of the, uh, all of the ones that I need, I need all the little will o wisps to get, uh, the little dude, the spirit to him. I need to go challenge Darkrai. I need to find him and catch him. Obviously, there's really not a whole lot of Pokemon left that I need to go after. I... Not a whole lot. There's some. I just need to find their locations on where they are, where they spawn. And try and get them. And plus, I need to try and get an Eevee to evolve into Espeon. Which, I think I know the, the correct EV to do it. Well, one of them. I have many. But with that, we have succeeded. We have finally won the final fight. And we beat the true villain. We caught Garatina. And the next thing to do is just to finish the Pokedex to get Arceus. And Arceus is the last one. So as soon as I get everything done, to point to the part where we get to Ar Arceus. Uh, I always said Arceus, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've, I said Arceus for so long, it's actually Arceus. Uh, I will make a video on it. And yeah. If you haven't played this game... And you never played a Pokemon game, or you have in the past, and you have played it for a while. This is different. It's more like an RPG, but it's a lot of fun. It's a very chill game. Sometimes it can be frustrating. And the boss fights, you the, technically you have to you have to focus on them. Liligans, to be honest, spoilers. Liligans one is by far the easiest. Other than that, it's pretty challenging um Volo is probably the hardest villain I've ever that's that I've ever faced in these Pokemon games that actually beat me up to six or seven times six six uh, five or six I don't know how many times did I battle against him yesterday I don't know you guys know because you've seen the episode but uh I, I for him to for me to go against him that many times and still beat me the first round, but I came back and won the second round. But either way, I just want you guys to remember is to eat, sleep, not just smash, and repeat. And forever and always keep moving forward. See ya, and what will be the final episode next time. Peace.